So once again, I've already played this before, but um, we're going to play it again with the Ultra Deluxe version. It was 2015 coming on the scene when I first played this game. The game came out in 2013, but this is the Ultra Deluxe version with new endings and new content and stuff, so it should be a good time. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul lifting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Good for you, Stanley. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. hi Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Neat. Well, I got some serious movement to me. I'm kind of fast, bro. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Maybe Stanley they died. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. What was this guy's job? 432 must have had a seriously fun job. Number one dad? Who farted? Sweet. Forget if any of this stuff's interactable. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Fuck you, guy. Just trying to be my best, man. Fucking asshole narrator. Can we go back? Will he get mad at me if I go backwards? I just want to piss off the narrator guy the entire time. I'm gonna go back to my room. This was my room, right? They don't let me back in my room? Shit. Hit door 435 times. If that does any if that does something, I'm banning you. Oh please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Fucking Chaos Burst just banned that fucker. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I'm pretty sure that's the same decision I made in my YouTube series. This room has some... Interesting. I'm gonna click every fucking door, bro. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. 
just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Fuck. Don't lie. Don't lie. If she's asking, she already knows the truth. I should have went to the room on the left. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem You're yourself. You're not watching the fight. To put your Canelo work aside. Bivol. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Oh my god. Hey yo, Speedy. Let me braid your mullet. Casually. Nah, mate. What do we got in here? Forklift! Dude, I sell forklifts. That's so fucking cool. Fuck was it pitch black? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. There's a joke to be made here, but I don't want any trouble. Sweetie, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? For a second, they want I to did. Commit their life to you. I wish I'm trying I did. to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Sorry, but you're in my story now. Fuck! I've lost all agency over my life, chat! I've lost all agency! I used to be able to ignore doors! Now they don't even let me do that? Oh, time to face our demons. Shattered Gnome, thanks to 26 months. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Press L on your keyboard. Chat, play along with us. I'm going to press a different button, actually, see what happens. I'm going to press F. I'm going to press L. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. I'm pressing F again. I will press R now. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now, he's coming back to work. 
One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Um. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Damn right. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Time with the boys? So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Dude, that was me. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. I have kids. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again and then again and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. I'm not going to say it, chat, but we're all thinking it, I think. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world he can never be anything but an observer, that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. I'm not gonna fucking do it. I'm not gonna fucking do it, Chiet. Why are, you, why are you guys doing it? Oh, God damn it! You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again, and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again, and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried... Fucking die on my first playthrough? My first ending was death? Oh, shit. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Jesus Christ. That was an interesting first ending to get because that one talked about other endings that I haven't seen yet. So that was a weird one to get because I feel like it would have hit differently if I'd ever already seen the other three or four endings that were aforementioned, correct? This is fucking my brain.
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yes, you thought. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow, yes, this room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Tiny. Big schnell. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... Uh, well, uh, da, 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 da. from here it's um left. Uh, big snail. Thanks for thirteen months. It's like left's our only option. What's up, King Fred? Oh no, no, it's to the right. My mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? What? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Of course. Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Oh, my God. I should've just gone through the fucking door on the left. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. What? Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back close to- Close your eyes, chat. Oh. Don't cheat. Who am I kidding? Don't cheat, chat. It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Hi, Mr. Speedy, I graduated from collage yesterday. Collage. How are you today? Slash, I'm good, how are you? Looks like you're gonna be doing some scrapbooking next. Congrats on uh, quitting collage and getting into scrapbooking. Holy shit. Fuck, did anyone cheat? Did anything happen while my eyes were closed? Fuck, none of you guys would know. Because every one of you guys closed, I bet. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley... Wait. Wait, what? No, I'm... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or a... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Oh. Let's find the story. Oh. I can't jump. So I'm assuming there's no way into this room, right? So you can't jump. You can crouch. I thought... <laughs> literally, achievement unlocked. You can't jump. Got your first achievement. <laughs> I wish the achievements popped up for you guys, but they don't. Uh, on this game, at least. What do I want? How boring... I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? No, let me pick a fucking well, I door. I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? 
I'll never know what's behind those doors. Oh! Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Sometimes you gotta go backwards to go forwards in life. You just gotta be brave enough to do it, Chet. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Well, this is an impossible hallway. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! We've been on our third try, I Jeff. Fourth try, maybe? A lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. No. I have to restart. Oh, fuck my ass. They gave me the adventure line. Now we can't get detoured. Oh, I remember the adventure line. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable adventure line. Just follow nice. the line. How simple is that? Even a himbo like me can figure this out. No, no, I'm done. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. So I'll never know it's through some of these doors now? We literally don't even know what the first linear path was. Jesus Christ, mate. Thank you, Tito. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Oh my god, Simply it is. by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey oh. such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Go for it, Now, dude. we can both agree so that the nature talk. of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one's subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. <laughs> Got off the path, chat. I don't know if you can fuck. We 
I've already been here. Oh, it's so fucking loud. This new? Oh wait, no, this is where I looped. Eventually, if I run this enough, it has to turn into something new, right? If we just keep doing the same circly boy over and over again, it's gotta become something new. I'm gonna try one more time because I don't like to stick with things. This is like one of those Shadow Beats things where he would do it 50,000 times just to hope that it does. Yeah, that guy just had a hits blunt moment back there. Okay, I guess we'll go through this. It doesn't seem like it will change, and if it does, I don't have the patience for it. Okay. Venture line got a little wonky at points. Does anyone get that sidearms emote? One of the worst emotes on Twitch? No offense, side. That shit fucking sucks, bro. I don't know why sidearms has just a fucking question mark emote. I still don't understand it. He, I think he's tried to explain it to me before, but, like, I don't get it. Because you can just write question mark and it conveys the same point. The fuck is going on with the adventure line, bro? It's derailed. Eighty-two and eighty-one, nothing in them's. For fuck's sakes, mate. Uh oh. oh. I thought that was that red button again. That would have been awesome. Annual reviews. Closed doors. Yo, is that fuck with your guys' brain? Because this means we have two different adventure lines. So, like, we can't just follow the line if there's two different adventure lines. Oh, fuck, we have three different adventure lines. Oh, fuck me, dude. Oh. This many people reviewed that dude. Well, why are they reviewing 432 that much? That feels like a glitch. Wait, what the fuck? We're back here? Wait, cut the music, go back, and look at that fern. <laughs> nope. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? I actually do want to see the fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. 
Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Chat, you got this memorized? Chat, you guys good? You guys like memorize how many pieces of fern are on each individual fern? Okay, cool. Fuck, I'm gonna go see what's back at the very beginning. Seemingly nothing. A buttery queef. Thank you for the 19 months. Buttery queef. Let me go see if the two doors opened up this time. That'd be fun. Nope. What a name, right? Dude, if my name was Buttery Queef, I'd be so happy. Oh, we're back here? But this isn't the way we got here the first time. And hopefully I can keep my eyes open this time. Oh, no, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. Restart. What? You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Indeed. Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Works for me. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. What do we want, chat? What do we want our story to be? I mean, well, you could just fantasize about anything in the world that you could possibly want. What would that be in the story form? You know what? That's more Twitch chat than I ever want to read. Holy shit, you guys are fucked up. Oh no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. Course screw roller coaster ass line, bruh. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. So I don't even get the option to go through the left one. Oh, hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me... That's what this is. It's all one giant ending. And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? 
My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do, do it. it. I won't do it. And the timer to... stopped? Does that mean... Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? Dude, the narrator's so, losing his shit. Okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? Indeed. I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... Did we just get run over by a bus? The fuck, man? We lost the line. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Ooh, a fresh Stanley restart. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Honk, honk. Oh, a streamer's dream. But more importantly, the other two doors are back. We still haven't been through that left door. Yo, what the fuck? The adventure line. We can see the adventure line from here. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? Where will this mysterious path lead us? the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Holy oh, well, this shit. sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Me too. God, this looks... It's a horrifying elephant. Okay, so far it's an elephant. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or Oh, 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 there we, we go. go. Yeah. All right, finally, yeah, we're good. at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. You wouldn't think the new content would have a rusty elevator that doesn't work right away. You'd think it'd be uh, primed, lubed up, ready mm. to go. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if, um, oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Ooh, vaulted ceilings, guys. That's new. The jump circle. What a fucking spatial management nightmare this room is. All right. 
All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. Is... is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? You can't jump in this game. Okay, you can jump now. Not sure what to think about that. Did I fuck up? Only time will tell. Goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. I miss line. 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 Jumped so much you made your knees weak. Yeah, I did, didn't I? What might this be? That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. Oh, it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. It is tough. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? I'm not your friend, buddy. This is not the office. But a mere picture of what the office once was. Stanley, come over here, in the vent. I want to show you something. Okay. Shit. But what if we don't? Oh, you don't want to see the cool surprise I made for you? Well, fine. You're a dork anyway, so who cares? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fuck me. I have to know. I, I just... Oh, never mind. You're not a dog. Holy shit. Coffee nut. This motherfucker kill me? 
Holy shit. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Okay. Just our little secret. Take a look. Our little secret. Who has to know? Fucking hell, dude. We're getting an Elden Ring boss fight? No. I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. It's like a little, little museum for your mind with an A-frame house. And the door opens for us. The memory zone. I know what I have in my memory zone. Sweet. Sweet memory. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. Back then, I was a big deal. Is that the picture of outside? Stanley Parable Collector's Edition. Audience Awards. Face without eye. Good times. Stanley Parable. It's me million dollar. Dude, what if they made me paint the whole room and then hopefully not get any paint on this dollar and then slam a computer into it because we have technology? It's a trip down memory lane, chat. We smile because it happened, even though it ruined our lives and we can't stop thinking about it. What a treat. What an absolute treat. Go outside. Don't play for five years. Unachievable. This just seems like a room for them to brag about all the fuck. Game keeps attacking me. If a house had a big forehead, holy fuck, dude. Is this the friendship bench? Am I peeing? And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. A relic of old. Fuck, what was down the other way? Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. 
The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Bitch. I can't even get in there, bruh. Are we fucking soft locked? I already used my fucking 37 jumps. Oh shit. <sighs> These were simpler times, Stanley. Simpler but times. I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Jesus, looks like Left 4 Dead. Oh no! Oh god no! Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Oh fuck, dude. Oh no. A negative review. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. Jesus Christ, everything's I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Oh man, he really took these negative reviews seriously. Oh. You kind of feel bad for him, right, chat? So many forklifts, dude. That reminds me, I have to, I have to drive a forklift later tonight. Oh, I want to be able to read that. That sucks. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure, like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Dude, he's really gone through it, chat. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Yo, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Yo, get fucked, narrator. Okay. Maybe, maybe you're supposed to get there, I don't know. What's behind this? Just a bunch of nothing, okay. 
Did you break it? You bought it thanks to 28 months. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you. Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue for... <laughs> well there, Sport. You really did sport? catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review, or at least change some of the words. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer, and my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no idea how long I'll be made to sit here. And more than anything else, I don't know how to stop you from pressing the button again. I can't control anything in this room, Stanley. I can't touch it. And I have to believe, I have to know that sooner or later... Oh, Stanley, you're back. <laughs> you're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I... I think it's been a week. <sighs> or two weeks. This is fun. I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't, Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. I needed there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stanley. Not the outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every branching path. I'll burn my story to the ground. One single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days, months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. All of them collapsed down into a single instant. In that instant, I could see myself clearly, calmly, with a collected heart. It was an impossibly rich wellspring of both. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking dead. <laughs> Buddy got the big fucking dead, bro. Now I feel lonely. Chad, have you ever had something really great and then you didn't realize it till it was gone? Joel.
But they didn't understand. <laughs> the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, Entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make you all of their here? pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much, they said. First, he didn't entertain us. Now he went, Shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world. As though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment. Back to our desolate space. Alone. Alone. The end is never the end, 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 is never the end. I'm gonna start rapping to this. Never the end is never the end. I'm gonna start rapping to this chat. This is hot. Is never the end, 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 is never the end. Alone. Stanley, it's me. Have you heard of Twitch Prime? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking funny, bro. <laughs> Stanley, I'm a TTS guy now, Stanley. I'm gonna fucking say it, Stanley. Now, what is this? <clears throat> I bet I could parkour out of here if I didn't use all my fucking jumps! Are these... the ferns? I don't think these are the ferns that were A4 mentioned, and I say that because I believe that for that fern was a part of the base game, and this fern is a part of the Super Deluxe content pack. So I don't think this fern is the same fern. But I also could be incorrect. But perhaps it's a metaphor chat. Where something could just be completely dead, and all of a sudden... Is this what it's like to be a Sacramento Kings fan? I'm out. Oh no. Now we're a Cleveland Browns fan. I'm out. This is what it's like to be a Jaguars fan. Sunny, beautiful skies, and that glimmer of hope when you burn your fucking first draft pick every goddamn year. But at least you have the first draft pick every year. Okay, this is in Florida, I was wrong. This is in Florida, chat. the narrator. 
Now I have to provide the content. I have to say things. It was nicer when someone... Did it for me.